Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Um, it's kind of a different one, but I'm gonna be showing you my process of redoing my 10 gallon aquarium. I'll insert before pictures here. It was pretty sad and it I set it up um, like at the start of quarantine um, this year. So like in March or April, it was just not cute. I just had very little experience with aquascaping slash no experience with aquascaping and I didn't like boil the wood so it leaked a lot of tannins into the water and so my tank was essentially a black water tank which is an aesthetic but I don't enjoy it <laughs> so I had a lot of surface plants and I had this like really annoying green moss um, that got everywhere and blocked the light so like it was a mess it was a bad situation like the shrimps weren't happy there nobody had babies um it was disappointing <laughs> but so i decided to rescape it yeah this video is a process of me doing that so i hope you enjoy my rocks came let's see everyone this is the first time i've been outside in a real long time today we're gonna build um escape escape for my aquarium planted tank i think i'm gonna go for like an island scape never scape scaped before so this will be exciting um i helped william scape his ego ego gumi tank i'll put that in the cards so you can go watch it yeah this will be fun the tank that i'm using is a tank that has stuff in it right now so um, i'm just gonna plan out the scape just to get the vibes and see if i need to order any additional plants or anything but yeah i'll like mock it up to see how i like it and then i'll start the process of like taking down the other tank and putting in the new scape <music> to see what will work. Okay, so I quite like that, but I think I want it to be a little more dramatic. So I'm going to try to replicate this after I add like a slope. Okay, 
Hey everyone, I think this is the final escape. We have a very exciting unboxing today. So, first I got a filter. Then I got two um, things of Monte Carlo. And this is one of the Bousset Philandres. Came with a sticker, some Ritala, and some Luigia. So that's very fun. I'm gonna plant my filter very soon then. I don't know, I guess I should do it today, huh? Hello everyone. I will be using crazy glue super glue to glue the two sticks to the rocks because I think just to be safe I think they might float up if I don't attach them somehow so um yeah I got some super glue yesterday and that's what I will be doing <laughs> As you can tell, it's a little cloudy and all the plants are pretty short, so it's hard to see them, but they it's it's been planted and I think now I'm gonna run the filter and just try to get that to become a little more clear. Okay. Here it is. Yeah, you can see on the side what it looks like. There are plants back there, but you can't really see it. plants are acclimating pretty well as you can see right there um, the tops of the plants have been you know sprouting new leaves um, which is always a good sign the Monte Carlo has also I don't know I don't know if I see new growth but um, everyone seems pretty happy pretty well adjusted like as you can see the top of these plants 
you can see a little bud growing out of um, where I cut that. So yeah, all in all, I'm, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I hope that this tank would be snail free, but that is, it's, yeah, that's a snail egg sac if you didn't know. So they're already making new babies, <laughs> but you can see that's a snail and that's a snail and oh that's another snail there's another snail they're literally everywhere and i assume that they're from the substrate because i i reused the substrate from the the old tank setup and but it had been dried like without water for like almost a week and as soon as i flooded it with water oh there's another one. i found snails literally everywhere so um, yeah, they produce pretty rapidly because in one egg sac is like probably a dozen or so baby snails and no matter how often I try to get rid of them, it just doesn't <laughs> work. So, I mean, that's okay. It's okay. I really like how it is. But the snails are so resilient. Okay, that's it for this video. Um, thanks for joining me on the journey. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me um, build the planted tank, the aquascape, as much as I enjoy doing it. I might upload a an update at the end of January so you can see the progress. Pretty soon I think I'm gonna add my shrimp and I may or may not get nano fish. Um, maybe you can let me know what you think down below. Yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your day and Thanks again for joining. Bye.